The Rhodes University second year exhibition found itself in complete darkness on the 20th of April following an unscheduled power outage. The exhibition had already been rescheduled following load shedding warnings when the power went out on its opening night. The annual event allows second year students to showcase their work for the public. Many artworks like Natalie Murphy's Kinetic Art required electricity in order to work. We're being deprived of a basic opportunity within our art school career to do what we are paying to do and to show our work to others for apt criticism because ESCOM can't stick to a schedule. So it's very disappointing, very discouraging and it's for, for, the, for the artists themselves and the people who are here to support them. It's just very disappointing. The power outage, which lasted for over six hours, was caused when a cable that feeds a major transformer in the area blew up. The outage affected the Grahamstown industrial area and caused a power interruption on the western side of Grahamstown. Thankfully, the lack of electricity did not totally ruin the exhibition. As the night grew darker, many were still able to see the brighter side of things. I think everyone's kind of getting quite quite a lot more involved with the artworks themselves by looking at them through their cell phone torches, you know. I think it's very interesting actually having to, to light up the work. Uh, it's really unfortunate though because a lot of the work uh, do deserve that lighting and that space. This is Ola Dumale reporting for Grillcott's Grahamstown.